Are you still lockpicking like this? You have to stop. Let me show you something. Down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can go that mental freeze. All right, so we won't spend too much time here. This is an old picture I ripped off the internet. Pause the video, take a screenshot, make sure you save it and study it for later. As far as picks and the skills and screwdrivers, all of that's gone over in part one. So we're not going over it here. The only thing I want you to take away from this picture is the sweet spot. We got to get our pick lined up in the sweet spot to open the lock. The closer we are to the sweet spot, when we try to open the lock, the more the lock turns. If you turn the lock too far, you hit the wall. If you hit the wall too many times, your pick breaks. That being said, if you never hit the wall, your pick will never break. So, how do we avoid hitting the wall while lock picking? It's a simple technique we call feathering. You can see an example of exactly what feathering is in this clip here. All right, now we're in the groove. We're gonna see how I'm not hitting the wall and I can do this all day, right? Not hitting the wall all day. Now, if you move your mouse in the right direction, while you're doing that, it'll open the lock without ever hitting the wall, and that's called feathering. So we don't want to hear the hard sound. We, want, we don't want to hear this. That's bad. Feathering, not hearing the hard sound. Slowly moving the mouse as you feather, and if you get closer to the hot spot, you won't hit the wall. We'll show you one more rusty just to get the hang of it. And the rusties are good to practice because you get 10 seconds. And the first thing you want to practice is getting through the rusty without ever hitting the wall. We're not going to hit the wall. We're not going to make it do this hard sound. See, it didn't hit the wall one time on that pick. And if you want to pick harder locks, you're just going to have to get faster at this. It's something that takes practice, but once you master feathering, it's just a matter of how fast you can find the sweet spot. I use the practice board to get faster. It doesn't consume any resources and harder locks only give you three to four seconds. Once you master feathering, start working on how fast you can do it, then move on to a basic lock. To show you what basic locks look like, here's a clip. Silver locks are a little harder. Their sweet spot is a little bit smaller and looks a little bit like this. Gold locks are the hardest and you have to move your mouse hand in the tiniest increments when feathering, but they're still doable. I mean, golds are frustrating. No one likes to practice, but I'm telling you, you have what it takes to go raid that asshole's base. So come hang out with me on Twitch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and let's go kick some ass. Down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze.